Hey, if you've ever been in the middle of making love and then all of a sudden your erection leaves or you've been good all day, it's time for your erection to show up and it's not there, then hey, stay tuned because today what I'm going to do is break down why your erections leave during sex and what you need to do about it. And hey, my name is Brian, AKA Uncle B. And for the last 20 years, I've been the men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac and Constantly we get this question because it's a big problem with a lot of guys. It's like, yeah, everything was good and then my erection just left. What's going on? Well, what I'm going to do today is break that down specifically. What you eat and drink, what time of the day it is. Um, we're going to talk about partner erectile dysfunction, which a lot of people don't know about, and some of the other causes that will cause you to lose your erection during sex. And as a bonus tip, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to break down what you can do in the moment so you won't have this problem or have the problem again. And as always, if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and what I'm gonna do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. So first of all, obviously you can lose your erections for a number of reasons. We're talking about your overall health, what you eat, your fitness levels, the amount of sleep you get, just a number of things affect that. And if this is happening to you, don't worry. This damn near happens to all men at some point in your life, especially as you get older. So when we're talking about ED, ED happens basically when you're not getting an erection or maintaining erection the way that you want to. And some of the causes are sort of obvious stuff. We're talking about tobacco use, heavy alcohol use, just your body in general, whether you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, high cholesterol, all of those things obviously can affect your body. When we talk about erections, we talk about the African Fly Sexual Performance Scale. It's the scale I came up with to help you quickly identify where you are in your sexual health. It's a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the highest. Everything is working, one being the lowest. Things are not working at all. Uh, most guys, when we're talking about you losing your erections, you're sitting there right in the middle of about a five or a six. A five means that you need a lot of foreplay, a lot of stimulation in order for things to work. Uh, six is just right above that. And you know, you're sitting in that range where it's like, hey, things should be working, but it doesn't. It sort of applies to a seven also. And we use this scale because it also helps you understand where you are with your testosterone levels. And with your testosterone, it is the bursting and burning of testosterone that fuels erections. So the thing to remember is that your testosterone changes all day long. It does stay in about the same range though. So the higher your range is, the better it is, the less, least likely you're going to have an erection loss during sex. One of the things to remember is that testosterone is the highest in the morning. That's the reason why you get your morning erections and morning sex is so great. And you actually lose 20% over the course of a day. And that doesn't include, include if you do some of the wrong things like drinking alcohol, things like that. And of course, the thing to remember is that your testosterone is created while you sleep. So make sure you get your sleep in. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what you eat. And this is very important because what you consume has the most direct effect upon your body, obviously, and of course that affects your erections. Eating foods that cause inflammation is going to slow down the blood flow and that's what you need for strong erections. And if your body is constantly dealing with bad foods, it doesn't have time to help you get better erections. It's trying to fight off what you just ate fight off the inflammation that's occurring. So when we're talking about foods to avoid because they're going to cause more inflammation, obviously we got to talk about that fried food. I know, not the fried food. And of course we always talk about uh, animal protein. Animal protein stays in your system for six to eight hours. So you may be thinking, oh, I just ate that really early during the day, but it still stays in your blood and it affects the inflammation, blood flow, and your erection. Of course, we got to talk about the highly refined flour, sugar, obviously, because that has uh, lowers your testosterone levels immediately. Milk and cheese definitely does that. And you have to be careful with juices because juices tend to have a lot more sugar than you need. Now, this may seem like a lot because, you know, this is stuff that we normally eat. We're not supposed to be doing this. We're, we're in an unnatural state when we're eating this, this way. And a great tip for you if you're having this issue is avoid eating for a minimum of three hours before you have sex. It's like going swimming. <laughs> you have to have your stomach clear so you can function properly. Now let's talk about something that a lot of people aren't familiar with and haven't thought about and that's called partner 
erectile dysfunction. And that's when you're with someone you want to have sex with, but it's not working out. And there may be some underlying reasons that you haven't thought of. Now, part of that is just dealing with overall stress. If you're stressed and she's stressed and you guys are get bringing your stress together, it's not great for lovemaking, it's not great for your erections. So some of the things that you can do about that is more foreplay. I always say foreplay is for men and that is because it helps build up your testosterone so you get more blood flow, better erections. Some of the things you can do is have a new room massage. Check that out, N-U-R-U -U massage. Basically, it's an adult slip and slide. Uh, it is really fun and it gives you time to play with each other, have that foreplay so when it's time to interact with each other, to have intercourse, much easier things are working the way they're supposed to. One of the things you have to do though is remember the best sex is when you're present. <laughs> when you're into the moment where you're not thinking about anybody else but this person and enjoying yourself. So that's something you have to concentrate on. And you also have to experiment with condoms. You have to make sure you have the right size condom if you're using that. I mean, sometimes you may not be even thinking about it, but you do have a piece of plastic that's covering the most sensitive part of your body. Of course, that's going to have an effect. If, you know, obviously we want you to use condoms if that's the situation, but at least let her know so that both of you are on the same page and understanding that this is a situation that you need to resolve. Real quick tip, a lot of guys don't know about this. This is an old school player one. Um, keep your socks on and <laughs> keep your shoes on. It actually helps with the blood flow. Blood flow moves up and down throughout your body. If your feet are warm, then that blood flow stays in the center area of your body. And just a couple other quick tips. You want to make sure that both of you guys actually warm up. <laughs> I know this sounds, sounds sort of non-romantic, but it's like, hey, if you're just not doing anything sitting around and you just start having sex, Sex is a physical activity. You want to be limbered up. And when you're doing this, this actually help with your confidence. You want to get your confidence back. Your confidence carries a lot. It also carries a lot of testosterone with it. So when you get your confidence back, you won't have to have this problem going forward. So let's go ahead and talk about what happens when it happens. <laughs> you're there. You're about to have sex and it's like, oh, ooh, uh, you know what? I'm not sure why it, it gets a little bit uncomfortable, but there's some things you can do about that. The first thing you do is uh, actually let her know. Just sort of give her you know, an explanation of what is going on because you two could be doing things together that don't work. I call it the, the Valentine's Day effect. Valentine's Day is the worst day for most guys when it comes to having sex if you're already having issues because it's like, hey, uh, there's the stress of yeah, you have to perform tonight. Then it's like, oh, well, I gave her candy and I ate some of that too. Testosterone going down. Um, we're going to go out and going to eat a good meal. It's like, oh, yeah, your testosterone and blood flow got messed up. And now you have to perform. Oh, wait, aren't we going to drink something? Testosterone levels going down. So you may be doing something and she may be doing something inadvertently, not realizing that you're affecting um, yourself. For women, they can drink and still perform. For guys, eh, it's not as not as easy. With that information, now both of you, she can help you figure out what you need to do. She can encourage you to uh, uh, take care of yourself so that she can enjoy. One of the other things you want to make sure you do not do is get stressed about this situation. Like I said, all men are going to experience this at some point in your life unless you're just, you know, you're super great, great with your testosterone and your health. Here's another thing to do during that moment. I should just go ahead and take a break. <laughs> you know, and, and go ahead and start up with the foreplay. It's like, yeah, you're trying to get into it. You're not functioning correctly. Just say, hey, let's go ahead and relax. We'll be able to get back into it. Start up with the foreplay. You'll be able to jump back in. One thing to make sure you don't do during this break is go eat something or drink something, especially alcohol. Of course, the most important thing out of all of this, if you've experienced this, is to learn from it. Go ahead and think about it. Write it down if you have to. What did you do? What happened? You know, as you get older, you may realize that uh, back in the day, you used to be able to drink and then have sex. Now, if you drink the night before, it's going to mess you up the next day. This is just the process of getting older. Your testosterone levels are going down. That's what happens. And of course, I have to mention, because this is what I do, take African Fly. <laughs> it's going to help you. You do need to make sure you're taking about a good hour beforehand. If you're a five or six on that performance scale, it'll help move you up that one point. As I always say, it is a supplement. It's supposed to supplement what the other things that you're doing so that you can get better, get those erections when you want to. 
and be able to function how you want to. And in conclusion, you can lose erections for a number of reasons, mainly your health and fitness and what you eat and what you sleep. Eating and drinking has the most immediate effect on your erections, so pay attention to that. Do not get stressed about this happening. This does happen to guys you're gonna be all good, especially if you learned the lesson from that time. And really important, make sure you talk about it with her because you know if she's not getting information from you, she start, may start making things up in her mind, <laughs> like, well, he doesn't love me anymore, or he's cheating on me. Believe me, I've heard uh, some other things that are just sort of crazy. <laughs> just let her know. And of course, make sure you tune in Thursday nights 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you can ask me those questions. That's what I'm here for, get those questions answered. So the question of the day is, have you had this issue before? And if you were able to overcome it, what did you do? Let us know in the comments section below because we need to share this information. And again, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get information like this coming to you every week. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up. Peace out.